Hey, my name is Kenny, and in this short tutorial, I will show you how you can use Street BI for Revit with Revit 25. So I've downloaded the installer of our tool from our website, and I'll first install Street BI for Revit 25. So once that's done, I'll open up Revit 25, and I'll go, and I'll proceed with a sample architectural model. First thing that you want to do is you want to hit, you want to select a 3D view, and then in the Add-ins ribbon tab, you'll find a 3D BI button, and from there you can go ahead, select a few options, and then hit the export button. So what 3D BI for Revit will do now is it will export all the geometry of um, all the elements that are currently visible in the active selected view, and create a 3D BI file of those geometries. And as you can see, I've also selected the JSON single elements array option. And what that means is that it will also export a JSON file containing all properties that the tool is able to find of each exported element. Once the export is complete, you can, you can just close Revit. And as you can see here, the tool exported two files being one a demo.3dbi file and one a demo underscore data.json file. Now the 3dbi file contains all the geometry and the JSON file contains all properties. Once Power BI is loaded, I can go ahead and import all data of that JSON file and give Power BI a few moments to think about. So now, by default, Power BI will try to examine the file and create a example query, but I will just delete all the steps that it automatically applied and start from scratch. I'll go ahead and expand the objects table and actually convert it to a table. And then finally, I'll expand all my columns. And I'll, as you can see, um, 3 BI exports quite a lot of columns, it exports quite some information, but I'll just go ahead and select ID, element ID, category name, and type ID. For the purpose of this demo, I'll first go and add a bar chart to the report, in which I'll display the number of elements per category name. Once the chart is on, on my report, I'll go and download the 3DBI visual directly from Microsoft App Source. As you can see, it's Power BI certified, and you can download it directly from App Source and insert it into your report. So I'll place one instance of the 3 dbi visual on my report and I'll make it a bit larger. And then the first step that you want to do is you want to assign the IDs column to the object identifiers field, then hit the insert model button and select the exported 3 dbi file. And from there, once the model is loaded, uh, you can pan around, you can, you can you can orbit the model, you can pan around, you can select elements. Um, but what's more important is that since this is Power BI and all the visuals are um, connected to each other, the moment that you select something in the chart, it will only display the related elements in the 3 dbi visual. <clears throat> of course, from here, you can take it a lot more, a lot yeah, much further. Um, you can bring in other information. You, can, you could bring in other columns as well. Um, the possibilities are virtually uh, limitless. But I think this summarizes the quick getting started on how to get your Revit model from Revit 25 directly in Power BI with 3DBI. Thank you. Thanks for watching.